I want to thank you for listening to my video. I sit in this very spot most every day now, and I have conversation, conversation with Jesus, my Lord and Savior. It is a beautiful solitude place, especially during this fall season, when all our hardwood trees are shedding their leaves. He has led me to talk to you on this day. I have been a Christian for 52 of my 6-7 years on this, the third rock from the sun now. I attend the small country church that my great-grandfather helped to found in 1884, Alice Chapel United Methodist Church. He tells me in his holy word, the Bible, that if I am ashamed of him while on earth, he will be ashamed of me when he intercedes between me and his heavenly Father. You can do the math, for I was a Christian back before the Vietnam War. I was taught as a small boy that on through God life can start. I was also taught that God has the only right to take human lives. That doesn't mean that he doesn't use us, mortal men, to accomplish his prophecies. I did my share of silent praying in the jungles around Pleiku. Jesus was always on my mind. He has saved me from life's pearls eight times now. I know that he knows I appreciate all that he has done for me, but nevertheless, he wants to hear my spoken words of thanks. Jesus is preparing for every one of us a room in his heavenly Father's mansion. We can't earn our salvation by our good deeds here on earth. God offers his salvation for free through his grace. It's a choice that we make here on earth. There are only one or two choices that we can make, either to serve Satan or God, Yahweh. Both choices are free to us. I sincerely hope that all my Dragoons Facebook friends picks a heavenly choice. Blessed are the ones that sins and recognize their sins and ask for forgiveness for their sins. I try to walk in Jesus' footsteps every day, but on most days I sin. I ask for his forgiveness every day, and I ask him for his help that I will never repeat the same sin again. You may ask me, how do I seek God's salvation? Jesus' own word, John 3, 1 through 21, New Living Translation. There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader, who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, he came to speak to Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miracles, your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, he explained. Nicodemus, how can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can produce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you hear the wind that can't tell where it comes from or where it's going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible? Nicodemus asked. Jesus replied, You are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things. I assure you, we tell you what you know and have seen, and yet you, don't, you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people love the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. 
All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. And I thank you.